All right, guys. Uh, what we're gonna do here is a level one, address the lunge position at level one. So we're gonna have when all little fixes, little cues that you can start to feel where your right position should be, correct position should be on a lunge. So here we're gonna have Mitch step back with his right foot into the lunge position. Okay. And some of the common things that we see is knees either cave in, putting too much pressure on that medial aspect. So we want this to be in line. It's more efficient, okay? As you push the knee out, you're gonna feel that outer glute line kick in. On the back leg, a lot of times we see heel, your heel is the rudder to your ship. So if the heel is collapsing in, we can see that as this collapse in, this knee's gonna fly out. Now, if I let this back foot roll out to the side, then I start to get that in, inward turn of the knee. So we wanna make sure that the heel is vertical to the ground, okay? That way it makes that efficient line. So what Mitch is gonna do is he's gonna take the sticks. We have those at 11 and one. He's gonna push those in, the, put those in on the ground and he's gonna push down at about 50% to irradiate the soft tissue. From this position, we wanna get very, com we wanna get comfortable in that upward position. We want that tr uh, proximal stability through the trunk. You wanna feel what your hips should be feeling as the feet drive into the ground. And you want to make sure that if you need a mirror to figure out where your knees are, so if your knee's collapsing in, you want to be able to look in a mirror and then pull this out. So now he's going to pull the knee out. So now it has that efficient line. He now has equal weight distributed from the inside aspect of the foot all the way to the outside aspect of the foot. The whole foot is grabbing the ground. So he's, use, he's utilizing a short foot position on this front foot, okay? So that way, if you don't have a mirror, and you're doing lunges, you understand what it feels like to be in the right position. Now, Mitch is gonna drop down into his lunge, bending the back knee, maintaining that straight posture up top. Everything wants to be stacked, okay? It's the most efficient line possible. Knee, hip, shoulders, okay? So if you're carrying weight, load, your body is efficient at knowing where it's supposed to distribute that load. And then he comes back up. Now, we can strengthen this a little bit more. We can have Mitch push at 80%, intensify. If you were here, you would see much more shaking at activation through the trunk. And let's get one more rep, 80%. Push. Excellent. Perfect. So that is a nice, clean lines on the lunge. That way, especially learn how to do this with your own body weight, utilize the sticks, teach the body what it's supposed to feel like with the proximal stability. That way, when you go to actually use external weight, you're not gonna be sloppy and collapsing and you won't have to visit the physical therapist.